Hello. Well, today I wanted to talk about a movie that I've uh, watched off and on over the years. Um, I saw this in the theater when it came out 10 years ago, and I thought, you know, since it's around the uh, 10th anniversary anyway, I thought, uh, or perhaps it's already passed. I forget exactly when this came out in 2013, but regardless, I thought, you know what, uh, it has been a while probably a year or two since I've watched this and uh, that movie of course is uh, American Hustle um, in short this is essentially like the app scam of the 70s regarding uh, yeah, catching uh, you know politicians uh, taking uh, money uh, they shouldn't have essentially and uh, the, and the film itself, um, at the very beginning, it uh, says some of this actually happened. So, you know, the overall plot in general of what goes on is fairly fictional, though what is true is, of course, like the FBI had a surveillance on uh, politicians taking money to, you know, essentially, well, this is money that you can... Uh, use for campaigning and seeing what you do use as you see fit for campaigning and such and of the like even though of course it was not uh, <clears throat> in good faith obviously of <laughs> and how uh, they caught uh, politicians um, taking such money and in the film you know we see uh, be like a uh, uh, Christian Bale uh, and Amy Adams play uh, a couple of uh, uh, con artists. Um, Irving Rosenfeld and uh, Sid Sidney Prosser, who she plays a, a, a British uh, lady, essentially, uh, who has an alias. Uh, who's a lady, uh, Edith, and uh, how she has connections to London. And in the beginning, you see how their uh, whole thing works out uh, at the beginning of how they scam people who, you know, they need loans. And they go to the go to him, who was the last person who they go to for a loan when they can't get any from anyone else. And he gets uh, five thousand dollars, and then he's like, "I'm going to give you whatever you want." Like, and so from there, a you get caught by uh, the FBI FBI agent or uh, Richie Damasio, uh, Damasio, who um, Bradley Cooper's character. And from there, that's how they get involved in this uh, whole thing, where they have to get politicians to get the money, and then from there. Uh, there you go. They're supposed to have like four times, and from there it just kind of gets bigger. Um, Carmen Polito, who's Jeremy Renner, he's a like an honest mayor in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and he wants to use the money to help the economy of uh, the city he's from, and he wants to better it. And so um, he and Irving uh, become friends, and Jennifer Lawrence plays uh, Rosalind, his uh, uh, Irving's wife, and uh, of course uh, uh, Amy Adams is, is, is Christian Bale's mistress. And of course, one of the things that is known is that uh, Christian Bale uh, got fat for this part, which a year after. He finished up being Batman, Bruce Wayne, and The Dark Knight Rises and finished that trilogy. Uh, the next major project that everybody saw him in uh, is he was fat. And he re uh, he and uh, Amy Adams uh, reunited after appearing in The Fighter. And Jared Lawrence and Bradley Cooper are together again after... Uh, Silver Landings Playbook, which is, of course, made by the same guy as it says, uh, David O. Russell. Um, and, um, 
Robert De Niro is in this too. Um, he plays a mafia guy. He doesn't get credit, but he's there in a scene that's very pivotal because, you know, there's the chic that they have to have because, you know, ab scam. Uh, somebody is put, playing the chic and he it's a very intense scene with De Niro because, you know, now we're dealing with the mob and, you know, already with just so many things just intertwine and things just get insane and things basically get out of hand. Yet by the end of the movie, everything basically comes together. Um, uh, this is a very entertaining film. Um, I enjoy this film. I really enjoy it a lot. Uh, a lot. Um, I believe I put this as my favorite film of 2013, and I think it's because of how entertaining and just well acted the film is. And uh, it, I just enjoy this film. It's a it's fantastic in my opinion. Um, I I think many people when they kind of I know it was I know reviews were good good but of course you know reviews and critics you know they don't always know what's the best but it did make a lot of money and i'm curious whether people because there are people were quite uh, you know fairly harsh with some of their uh reviews and how it was like is it all that great all that stuff because it was making a lot of money and so i think because of it was making so much money around christmas time and people saw it, and people weren't as impressed. Like, sure, like, the acting is good, and, you know, perhaps some direction is uh, stellar, and all this sort of thing, and yet, at the same time, people were kind of like, they just weren't so uh, amazed, and it's very interesting. And I've seen some people's reviews, like, actual people's reviews, like, uh, many years later, and they seem to think how... <clears throat> They thought it wasn't the greatest thing at the time, and they may not still think that now, but it's like their uh, thoughts have improved. Like, it is very well done and well made and acted. Um, it got, as it says, nominated for 10 Academy Awards. Um, uh, it won none. I do think it should have at least won from us, like the acting. I, I really like Christian Bale's performance. His his performance... Uh, but, but Christian Bale is just amazing that, in general, he's always, he always does a fantastic job. So does Amy Adams. She's always a phenomenal actress. Bradley Cooper does an excellent job. He yeah, has a little curlers in his hair. Um, Christian Bale's got a comb over, which in the very beginning you see his fat gut. And then he puts he's got a shirt on. And then he starts to put some like uh, glue to put things down for his hair and then he uh, combs it over once everything is you know all set and it's it's a very fun way funny way to just uh, open the film and uh yeah everybody in the in this film does an excellent job the main cast does a phenomenal job even the small characters smaller characters who you might see in one or two scenes and then that's it that you never see them ever again they're gone. Um, but uh, they, they may be referred to in the sense like they might be talked about. But you, again, you don't see them after one or two scenes. De Niro, you know, he's just there for like the one scene. You know, they do have a scene where he is younger. Because they have it so where he's like, his hair is like thinned out and he's like bald. And he, you see him in a scene where he... You know, he's a big mob, mob guy who's from Miami, and he goes and just, <laughs> just shoots a dude and leaves him there because he like that's a better way to do it. You kill somebody, you just leave them there. You don't move their body. You don't bury them. You just leave them where they're dead. That sends a message. It's a more powerful message than, say, like if you just uh, move the body, maybe that m most that might be there or, or evidence that so-and-so was there was there is blood. You know, it might be out in public, so you might not be able to clean all of it. So, but you, yeah, you just leave their body there, and that sends a more effective message to whatever, aside, aside from the fact that somebody is dead. Um, but yeah, this is a an amazing uh, film. Also, uh, 
Louis C.K. Louis C.K. is in this. Michael Pena uh, plays a fake Sheik, and uh, Louis C.K. is uh, uh, Bradley Cooper's boss. And uh, yeah, this is a this is just a very good film. It's a very fun fun movie. Um, yeah. Uh, 138 minutes, so it isn't all that long. So, yeah, it's under two and a half hours, which, that's quite something. <laughs> Not every movie is, obviously, under two and a half hours. It seems like two and a half to two hours or 45 minutes seems to be the normal run time anymore. Now with films like Oppenheimer and others that are three hours long, uh, it seems like that sort of could be maybe a, a norm a normal thing um i know avengers endgame was also like three hours long so but yeah this is a film that isn't that long it's entertaining uh loosely based off of a true story but obviously it's up front in that it's uh you know you know some of this happened but for the most part like all the characters all the alien the names are changed but they're essentially inspired by real people. Um, uh, Jennifer Lawrence's character, Rosalind, she's something, you know, uh, she and Irving are married. And, uh, but, you know, while Irving owns some businesses, even, and even though he does con people, um, it's like a, he has a glass repair business as well as a laundromat and, uh, art gallery thing you know you know there, there's you know some yeah some legitimate stuff but you know conning people and all that that's something that you know he really does uh well he excels at you know she's she is selfish she is something else she truly uh you know uh, she had a son from a previous relationship he adopted her son, and he, uh, he's like, I, I, I did the right thing for once in my life, you know, I was a single mother, I married her and adopted her son, and, and like, they fell in love, and there's just, things are just out of control with them, and she is just, you know, she's out there, and the most in various ways she's the best ways and in other ways it's like the worst way she's she does at times she does not help the situation especially if something is tense and she's there she can make it even more tense or she can make it very lively and entertaining uh, and sometimes it's often both but or often both yeah it is often both but sometimes it's one or the other uh uh, yeah, Richie and the Sydney, they kind of become something, even though they're not uh, like an actual couple, but still they're something together and just, yeah. yeah. Carmine's just a good, like one of those politicians who's actually very good. He's a good guy. He cares about his community. He's not somebody who just got into office for the power and just to be in office for as long as he can and say all the nice things that a politician should say and he seems to be one of those who he says something he actually is gonna follow through with it one way or another you know, legally of course but you know one way or another he's gonna find a way to make his promises come true no matter how long that will take but the characters are very interesting um fictionalized versions yes but uh, fun all the same essentially it's just a very a very fun film and i know with the lighting it's not the best but you know uh i thought i should improvise because i need to get new light bulbs i thought i had some and uh, i guess not so that's not the case but hopefully next time uh well should be next time I should be able to have a, a 
couple light bulbs up there, so that way it's not going to be so dark. Anyway, American Hustle, very inter uh, entertaining film, fun film. If you haven't seen it, uh, give it a watch. Not bad at all. Um, I do think it should have won like the four acting Oscars at least. Um, won Best uh, Picture, Comedy, or Musical. Amy Adams and Jennifer Lawrence won Golden Globes. Uh, uh, Jared Leto beat uh, uh, Bradley Cooper for Dallas Buyers Club, which I did see that film and um, well-made film, well-acted film. You know, I can definitely see why uh, McConaughey won and Jared Leto won, though. Uh, there's just something about this film where of all the films of 2013, I just kind of come back to this more often than the others. Um, Christian Bale, of course, is excellent. Um, sucks Amy Adams doesn't have an Academy Award so far. Neither does Bradley Cooper. I've heard some stuff about his new film, Maestro, and he could win. Um, also heard how, like, you know, it's like, you know, if he wins, it could be because, like, you know, uh, it could be like an overdue thing, like an Al Pacino situation, which, if that's the case, that sucks. Because then people like Killian Murphy and Oppenheimer, who, like, should win, will lose because, well, it wasn't his turn, it was Bradley Cooper's turn. Um, uh, Jeremy Renner also doesn't have an Academy Award. He didn't get nominated for this, but he does an excellent job, all the same. Of course, awards like Oscars and stuff, they don't matter in the long run because sometimes some some of the best films that either were nominated for a slew of awards or weren't nominated at all, sometimes as time goes on, they're well-remembered. Um, the Dark Knight Rises is still talked about. It got nominated for nothing, um, not even for technical stuff, which I'm still surprised at. I'm like, you know, even if it, like, best picture, director, actors, uh, actress, or supporting actress, or supporting actor, sure, maybe in, because of the competition, it might not have, it might not have gotten to the big major categories, but for, uh, like, effects, and music, and production design, you think that would get nominated for stuff. This got nominated for a lot of awards. Fortunately, um, it did not win, though. Uh, yeah. It is absolutely worth checking out if you haven't seen it. And if you have seen it before and you haven't watched it in a long time, I think it'd be worth at least watching again. Um, just to see whether or not uh, it's entertaining to you <laughs> like if you thought it was entertaining uh and perhaps you were one who thought it was good but not as good as perhaps uh some of the people like some of the critics were saying and maybe it didn't deserve to make as much money like perhaps another film was better maybe you thought wolf of wall street was better so it should have made more money and you know uh, sometimes some excellent films just don't make as much money for one reason or another um, but this isn't a very excellent film. I think it's one that's worth rewatching and also worth talking about. I know sometimes as uh, the longer uh, films go, especially in this day and age, like if it's not part of a franchise, you know, people don't always talk about it much. Um, and so, you know, this was a kind of one and done film, um, still her cast and, uh, well made but yeah this is a film that i think is absolutely worth talking about worth watching and seeing and uh if you have uh if it's been a while again give it a watch and see if it's just as good or better than what you uh remember of it um that's really it um just wanted to talk about this a bit and uh express my fondness because it is a very fun film uh, maybe it wasn't the best of uh 2013 in terms of winning 
picture and director and all that, but uh, the story is interesting. I know some think it's a little confusing at times, like it, all these things do come together at the end, um, but, you know, it's like, it seems like after a while, like, kind of go from this storyline to this one, and this is here, but by the end, everything kind of comes together, and I guess for some people, they thought that just kind of went everywhere and then somehow tied together. It's like, it just, it was just like, wow, okay, uh, this movie is just like all over the place, and it, it somehow comes together in a cohesive ending. Uh, but yeah, who knows? Maybe you, you will think me that way. Uh, if that was your first impression after watching, like acting's good and costumes and the makeup and hair and everything is good. But maybe overall, it's like eh, picture director and all that. Maybe not so much. I think acting it could have gotten some awards at least. No. Um, Anyway, I hope uh, this was an interesting video, at least. Uh, I know I may not have been the most exciting, but I want to just talk about this film. It's been a while since I watched it, and re-watching it, it was just, it was fun. I had a fun time, yeah, and I think if anything for a film of any sort, especially like this, it, if you're as long as you're entertained, that's what's a uh, that's what's important, and uh, I was entertained. So, thumbs up, uh, in my opinion. Um, but what do you think? Like it? Don't like it? Like aspects of it, and perhaps other aspects not so much. Give me your thoughts if you'd like, and uh, yeah. Uh, I hope all of you are doing well. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you've all had a great weekend. Or we'll have a great weekend and I hope your week was also excellent. And I'll see you all next time. Um, take care.